So here's the rundown. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and for my entire life I have lived somewhere in this small bubble here. And I have pretty much only fished in this slightly larger bubble here. The reason for this is I got comfortable. Let me explain. When I started fishing, I was limited to where I could ride a bike to from my house. So I found all the best spots, and there were a lot of them, and slayed hella bass. Then I got a car, but never stopped slamming hogs in my OG spots. So the car just really became a means of faster transportation to where I was already comfortable. So I looked to Google Earth. Step one, find a pond. Step two, find a creek. So I made it to the first spot, guys. It is exactly what I pictured on Google Earth. It's pretty much just mowed grass all the way around, which is what I was looking for when I was looking for a pond on Google Earth, which is like a nice, easy pond to fish from the bank that looked healthy. Uh, wasn't in like a super populated area of Charlotte, so it's not gonna be heavily fished. There's a nice deep bank, grassy bank where the dam is on that side. And then just the whole side is just mowed grass and some trees, it's gonna be super easy to get around. I'm super excited about just stepping out of my comfort zone here and actually trying a new spot in Charlotte, which I don't do that often. Uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna be kicking today off with the spook again. This shallow section of the pond is looking pretty good. There's not too much stuff just caught up on the surface. I mean, if there's gonna be a chance of me catching something on the spook, this is probably where it's gonna be. It's real calm, it's a uh, nice overcast today, which is all a good recipe for the spook. Oh, there we go. First fish on the spook. That's uh, just a little small one. That's a good sign though, like four casts into this pond already on the board. Healthy looking fish. That's a great sign when you uh, catch a fish on the, like, I think my third or fourth cast that is that size and went after a bait that big. Uh, the bass in here seem to be super aggressive right off the bat. Uh, let's go ahead and get this back out there as soon as possible. Thank you for being the first fish, little dude. So another thing that I liked about this pond when I saw it on Google Earth was the fact that there was actually a really small creek that this pond, it looks like it was probably dammed off and this pond was made from it but it's just a really, really tiny creek, just a few inches deep, and it's just constantly feeding this pond with new nutrients, just new bait, and just all kinds of stuff on a regular basis, keeps the water oxygenated. And in addition to that, I could see the bubblers in the Google Earth pictures, and all of that just bundled together is a really good recipe for a healthy pond. One more pass with a spook over here in the shallow section before I switch to another lure. Nothing. All right, one more, one more. I can't resist. All right, third time's a charm, third time's a charm. I can't put this thing down. Oh, it's too addicting to get strikes on it. Oh God, that was a bump all the way across. That's gonna have to be a redo because it got tangled. I make my own rules, guys. I bend them, I break them, I invent them. It's just what I do. One more fish, one more fish. One more fish. All right, change of pace here. Going over to the good old trusty vile crawl. It's a nice little creature bait with a bullet weight. God, days like this are the absolute best when you get that nice overcast in the summer. It's not hot outside, just cool, like high 70s, low 80s. It feels incredible. The sun isn't beaming on you, especially being as pale as I am. I really appreciate it. Nothing on that cast. Come on, I know there's gotta be something hanging out out here. Oh, that was a fish right there. Missed him. On that note, I think this side of the pond is uh, pretty thoroughly fished. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the dam. Now that we made it to the dam side, I'm gonna go back to the spook. This side is looking much better. I mean, just already it's much deeper. There's a lot more cover that's just like actually in a spot where a bass could be that's not two inches deep. This is what we're looking for, for sure. This is what we want. This is what we want. And, oh no, Dan, that's not what we want. We don't want to be in the trees. I feel like I'm busting my booty walking down this steep bank. 
these shoes have like no traction or like side support <laughs> basically walking on the sides of my shoes my feet are sliding so bad all right oh god going down man down man down no luck on the vial crawl over here on the dam that's that's a little bit surprising but uh gotta watch out for these snipers out here they got me the first time going across Ooh, whoo, almost stepped on a water moccasin. There we go, got one. Oh, there we go, finally. Almost stepped on a snake, hit a tree with my hook set, but we got him. Good little healthy fish, but man, I mean, come on, I need something a little bit better than this, two little dinks. Later, my dude. That little series of events could have gone much worse for me. One, I could have stepped on the snake and got bit. Two, I could have snapped my rod in the hook set. Or three, I could have lost that fish. But it, uh, it all played out pretty well, so kudos to me. Coming up on the last spot here, it's exactly opposite of where we started. Super, super shallow. I'm not teeming with confidence over here, but you never know. Could be a surprise. I just finished up with spot number one. Honestly, it was kind of a disappointment. I mean, I did catch two little small dinks. I mean, that's okay for coming to a new spot, but the pond looks super healthy. It's fed by a feeder creek. There's bubblers. There isn't any obvious signs of heavy fishing here. There isn't line in the water. There's a line in the trees. I didn't see any kinds of sign of fishing. Just like one water bottle, but that's just because there's a nature trail around this pond. But anyways, we're gonna move on to spot number two. Hopefully I can come back here in the future and have more success, but on to the creek. Okay, we made it to spot number two. It's kind of tricky to get down here. I actually had to look around for a second before I got to this spot, but uh, as you can see, there's a giant like 50 foot drop off embankment right here from the shopping center. And uh, I had to find a way around it. Luckily at the end of it, there was a nice little way to get in here around the gate and just a little path just gotta watch out for spider webs what i didn't expect though with this little creek when i looked at it on google earth was for it to be under construction around the side hopefully that doesn't interfere with the water clarity can't tell yet but it looks like they're building a greenway out here I, I doubt it'll be an issue that i'm out here there are some trucks driving around but uh no the water looks pretty good i mean not super clear so now that we made it to the creek itself, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, not like the best in the world, but I mean, for all the construction going on around and this being like a city creek, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's some obvious trash in the water, but the, the water's moving pretty quick, uh, which is good. I don't normally see it move this fast when it's this low uh, and around this area. The one thing I don't really see is any small bait fish just swimming around concerns me a little bit I'm just gonna have to take my time try some bigger stuff see if there's any little small bass in the area don't have any luck with that just switch to a little beetle spin see if we can't just get some little sign of life in here so I didn't have any luck off that first bank in this creek but I picked up my stuff walked down a little bit went around this first bend and oh my god to my surprise there's literally probably one of the coolest fishing structures I've ever seen in Charlotte far as creeks go. There's nothing around here like this far as I'm aware of, but uh, just, I want y'all to check this out, especially y'all that are from Charlotte. Y'all know what I mean. There's nothing like this in Charlotte. This looks like it came straight out of the Rockies. This is super, super cool. This is what I was talking about, guys. This rapid and these huge rocks. I mean, for like central Charlotte, there is nothing like that. I've never seen big bedrock like that around here. So this is gonna be a little tricky to get down here without uh, with all this stuff in my hands. Uh, I think it'd probably be better off just going fast. Let's see that? Oh, 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 God! Don't fall with the camera. Don't fall with the camera. There we go. Oh, oh, skip, hop. Oh, we made it, guys. Woo! We're on the rock. I'm so excited to cast in here, guys. This is a nice deep pool. Good moving water. There's gotta be something in here. 
So I really didn't want to do it guys, but I'm resorting to using the beetle spin. The bigger lures aren't working. I don't know if there's any quality size bass in here or quality size fish of any nature for that matter, but this should get some of these smaller fish that are in here. I know they're in here. I've they've been nibbling the absolute hell out of the out of the net rig, but they're definitely not bass. So hopefully this will get one hooked up and we can just get something from this creek. The spot's too good not to get something. Just, just something small. That's all I ask. Well, this is just a shame, to be honest. As cool and as unique as this spot is, the Charlotte, and just, I guess, urban fishing in general, I'm having no luck. I don't see any little fish swimming around in this spot in particular. I saw some downstream a little bit, but I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna have to keep on moving. That's unfortunate. This spot was super cool. This is as far as I'm gonna go today, so if I don't catch one here, this is gonna be it. Just this little last pull. It's unique in the fact that it's the only piece of shade I've seen on the creek the whole way, so that's a good sign. That's just some indication that there might be a fish in here. Just come on, just one. Yes! Woo! There we go! Literally walked like two and a half miles down this creek just to catch this little dude. Man, oh man, does this feel rewarding. Well, this isn't exactly what I expected to catch in this creek. By all means, I was hoping for a few bass, maybe a decent sized one, but this little dude feels so good to catch. And just all I have to say is never underestimate these little guys. They're just so beautiful. If you really take the time to look at their colors, they're much prettier than bass, even though they're not quite the size. Anyways, little guy, thank you for the fight. Thank you for showing up for the channel. Swim on, and I hope you do good in this uh, nasty old creek. Oh, another one. There we go. We found a little hot spot. Oh, there he goes. Oh, another one. Bang, bang, bang. Three in a row. This spot is the juice for these little creek bass, or I'm not creek bass, these little creeks sunfish or whatever you want to call them oh oh god butterfingers here i was thinking i was gonna walk all the way down this creek like two and a half miles probably and get absolutely skunked right when i was about to give up hope i struck gold in a dirty creek uh, it's definitely poetic to say the least oh another one four down here it's a honey hole God, I shouldn't showed y'all uh, local Charlotte guys where the spot was on Google Maps. Now all y'all gonna be coming down here to steal my little uh, brim from me. Oh, another one, best one yet, I think too. Yes, sir. Woo! Take a look at this little dude. Look how pretty those colors are. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Don't underestimate these little fish. They're so beautiful and. This is definitely the best one out of the creek today. Uh, so on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Google Maps challenge, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me do in the future. Thank you so much. Bassin is a passion. Peace out, guys.